Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. And today I'm going to show you how to download and install the new Crypto.com wallet, a phone based wallet where you control the private keys. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm on the Crypto.com blog page announcement for their new Crypto.com wallet. Uh, your keys, your crypto. Uh, it's a great decentralized, convenient, secure, and flexible app for storing your cryptocurrency where you control the private keys. Uh, the private key will be encrypted and stored on your device and you will get a backup phrase that you'll write down and store in a separate location in case you lose your phone or your phone is damaged. You'll be able to restore this wallet. It's a great new uh, component to your crypto.com account. Uh, a standalone wallet where uh, you can actually control your own private keys. So I'll put a link to this down in the description and I'm going to go through the whole download and setup, backup and use of the crypto.com wallet, right? And you can scroll down and read uh, about all these specific features of the crypto.com wallet. All right, so I woke up this morning and I checked my trusty crypto.com app. Uh, to see how my portfolio was doing and I saw this alert that they have a new separate crypto.com wallet that you can download and install where you can store your cryptocurrency safely and securely where you control the private keys and of course it's associated with my favorite phone based cryptocurrency exchange so I'm definitely going to try this guy out now before we get started make sure that you've got a piece of paper handy because you're gonna need to write down your recovery phrase so when I write down recovery phrases I like to set it up on a piece of paper and I'll write down the name of the wallet the date and then uh, I'll number the, the words in the recovery phrase this is very important for me because I am constantly downloading wallets and uh, writing down seed phrases and I discovered over time that I was going through pieces of paper with seed phrases. I had no idea which wallet they went to or when I did them. So it's always a good housekeeping uh, step to name the wallet and the date that you wrote down the phrase. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm just going to tap that view in App Store to take me over to the new wallet. And there it is, the Crypto.com wallet. I'm going to hit the Get button, of course. I've put it in the appropriate folder for me so I can get to it quickly. Let's launch this guy. All right, now I already have a Crypto.com account, of course. And so I'll go ahead and link these two together so that I can easily transfer crypto between the two of them. Uh, you can also create a standalone wallet or even import an existing wallet that you have backed up with uh, keys. In fact, let me check that. Okay. Ah, okay, so it supports 12, 18, and 24 word recovery phrases. So pretty versatile wallet, right? But I'm not gonna do that, right? I'm just gonna connect it to my crypto.com app. All right, we'll go through this again. Yeah, so this will make it easier to move funds between the two. Uh, there are some terms that we need to say. Now remember, this is a standalone non-custodial wallet. Even though it's connected to my Crypto.com app, I will control the private keys and I'm ultimately responsible for this wallet. So if I lose my phone and I lose my backup phrase, uh, Crypto.com is not going to be able to help me, right? This is uh, personal responsibility when you're dealing with crypto uh, currency wallets, right? All right, so I'll confirm both of these. I'll hit connect now. All right, so I've entered my crypto.com email address. I'll uh, click this little button here. All right, and I should receive that uh, via Gmail. There it is. I'll just tap that, open up the email. All right, and, and of course you wanna make sure you do this on the device, right? You don't wanna check this from your computer. You want to make sure that you click this link using the phone that the Crypto.com app is on and also the Crypto.com wallet. So we'll hit connect. Okay, so I have a passcode. Uh, 
that I set up when I set up the app. I don't believe this is my Google Authenticator code. I don't use it very often because I have Face ID, so, but I, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. <laughs> we'll hit continue here. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to save this. Um, I'll go ahead and launch the Crypto.com app. Okay. Okay, cool. So I've made the connection. I got a confirmation email from Crypto.com. I'll hit got it here. All right, so I'm going to create a passcode for the wallet. All right, I'm going to enable Face ID. Got that. And I'm going to enable two-factor authentication. All right, now I need to enter this code into my Authenticator app. So uh, I'm just going to, because I'm on my phone, I can't scan it. So I'm going to tap the uh, copy, copy that code into my clipboard. I'm going to slide over here to uh, Google Authenticator. All right, and I'm going to create a new code, but I can't scan. So I'm going to hit the plus. Now the scan barcode I can't do because I'm doing this on my phone, right? I'll tap manual entry. I'll uh, call it crypto.com wallet so I know what it is. And then I'm going to tap and paste that key in here and then I'll tap done. Now I need to tap that check mark in the top right before I go uh, back, right? So I'll tap that check mark. Now I see down there at the bottom, that's my crypto.com wallet code generator uh, in Google Authenticator. So let's go back to the app. Uh, now I'm going to verify. Now it wants me to enter my the current code that's being generated. So we'll uh, go back over to Google Authenticator down here at the bottom. I can tap this and copy it into my clipboard, but I think I need to enter it manually. 592711. All right, and there I've got two-factor authentication enabled, so all the security features. Now I need my recovery phrase. This is what I was telling you about. Uh, we need to write that down. All right, so uh, if I lose my phone or uninstall this app, I'll be able to restore this wallet with my recovery phrase. This is uh, a human-readable representation of the private key that is stored cryptographically on this device, right? All right, and it gives you, uh, yeah, don't take screenshots, right? I told you, uh, write it down on a piece of paper. All right, so we'll uh, let it reveal. Uh, we'll tap this button to reveal. Make sure no one sees you do this. And uh, we'll start with the first word. In fact, it's funny, you can't see it on my computer screen, but I can see it on my phone. All right, so here I go. All right, so I've got everything written down on my piece of paper. I'll hit continue. All right, and now this is the verification phase. Uh, I'm going to need to put down uh, four of these words. Now, like I said, you want to make sure you've got numbers written down so you know the numbers of each of these words. All right, so <clears throat> once I get those four words in there, I'll hit continue. Uh, I've got the backup. Uh, I can go through these tips here, All right? So you can split up the phrase and keep it with separate people or in separate locations, or you can uh, have your entire phrase uh, in one place, but in put copies in multiple locations, <laughs> or you can memorize it, which is very advanced. You do not want to forget this phrase. All right, so I'll hit done here. And there we go, right? Uh, I can go ahead and enable email updates. We'll hit done there. All right, so now I've got the wallet uh, downloaded, installed, and backed up. Let's uh, put a little crypto in there. Uh, let's go up here to settings and see. Well, we've got all kinds of cool stuff in settings. All right, now I've got some CRO in my crypto.com account, so why don't we move some of it into offline into this wallet? All right, so it doesn't look like I can pull use from using this wallet to pull from my crypto.com account. But let's see what happens when I go into my crypto.com account. 
All right, so uh, this is my crypto.com account, my uh, exchange account. Uh, like I said, this is a custodial wallet. They're holding these coins on my behalf. So uh, it's easy and convenient for me to trade when I want to. But you might decide that you want to store some of these offline for long-term safe storage on your phone. So I'm going to choose uh, the crypto.com coin. I'm going to hit transfer, withdraw. And there we go. You see, I've got that little link for my crypto.com wallet, which makes it really easy to transfer coins uh, from my exchange to my personalized wallet. So I'll hit crypto.com wallet, and I'm going to choose CRO. And uh, I can send $100 worth of uh, CRO to my crypto.com wallet as a test. All right. So I'll hit withdraw. All right, and then I'm going to confirm that. And I'm going to need my Google Authenticator code. Now this is the Google Authenticator code for my Crypto.com account, not the wallet, right? Because I'm withdrawing from my account. So I'll use that code. It's there at the very top. I'll tap that code. I'll slide back over here to crypto.com. I'll paste that in there. I'll hit continue. And my withdrawal request has been submitted. And you'll see my balance adjust there. Uh, there's the email confirmation from the exchange. And let's see what happens with the wallet. Right? Let's go back over here to the uh, crypto.com wallet okay while we're waiting for that uh, CRO coin to come into the wallet you'll notice here when I tap receive on this wallet it supports lots of different types of coins right I can even store my uh, stable coins in here as well stellar ripple quite a few co different coins all right, so I got an alert that the withdrawal was complete, that the request was confirmed. So uh, that happened pretty... Now that's the exchange, right? The exchange was letting me know that my withdrawal was complete. So I'm just going to pull the wallet down and refresh. All right, and there you go. You can see that the CRO has arrived safely in my own separate wallet, right? So there you go. So we've got two different uh, ways to interface with Crypto.com. Uh, we've got the Crypto.com app, which is our online exchange where we can buy, sell, trade, uh, and uh, store cryptocurrencies on the exchange. But then you also now have the uh, standalone Crypto.com wallet where you can store your coins offline safely and securely on your own device where you control the private key. And the uh, it works like any other cryptocurrency wallet. You can send and receive and store cryptocurrencies and check balances and all that good stuff. But what I like about it is that it's got a direct connection to my crypto.com account so that I don't have to play around with uh, cutting and pasting addresses into this wallet. I can simply withdraw directly from my crypto.com account and tell it send it to my offline wallet quickly and easily by just tapping withdraw to crypto.com wallet, which is a cool feature. Overrides all the complications that a normal cryptocurrency wallet has. This whole idea of cutting and pasting addresses or hand typing addresses. We don't need to worry about all of that uh, when we're withdrawing from crypto.com. Now, of course, I can move Bitcoin Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency, including uh, CRO and MCO, from any wallet to this wallet, right? From my Ledger wallet to this wallet or any other exchange. I can withdraw Bitcoin from Coinbase or uh, Binance into this wallet. It works like any other cryptocurrency wallet, right? So if I want to put Bitcoin, I'll hit receive. I can tap receive and then there's my Bitcoin address, right? I can use it like a regular cryptocurrency wallet but the the thing I really like is that uh, I can withdraw from crypto.com 
really easily. So there you've got it. You've got the Crypto.com app and you've got your own private standalone Crypto.com wallet where you can store cryptocurrency on your phone uh, where the private key is encrypted and stored on your device and you have a recovery phrase that you can use to restore the wallet should anything happen. Like you lose your phone or your phone gets damaged or anything like that. So pretty cool. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my very best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.